All right, we're back. How's it going, everyone? Today, we're looking at XP farming on a budget. So what do I mean on a budget? Well, it's not min-maxing XP gains. There's already a lot of guides online that do that. And that's too much work. And because of the effort required to get there, it's probably best applied on double XP weekends. XP farming on a budget is something you can do anytime with whatever build you have. It's low effort, repeatable, doesn't require teammates, benefits from easy crafting, and gives a relatively good XP boost. And it's herbivore focused in my case. Okay, let's start with a baseline. First, you'll notice that I'm full health. And I modified my loadout to make sure that intelligence is maxed out. I've also have legendary perk for intelligence maxed out because intelligence will give you around 2% XP for each point you have in intelligence. So you want to try and max that out as much as you can. And that's what I've done here. My build is still going to be the flamer stealth build. So I have my uh, heavy gunner perks and I have my stealth perks. All right, my armor is Secret Service armor. I have all the unyielding pieces. However, because I'm full health, the, it's basically standard armor. I want to find out what the baseline is when I'm full health, and I want to see what I, the gains I get by going low health. For my apparel, the only piece out of, uh, of importance is the uh, protective shirt and jeans, because that's going to give me an additional intelligence. And if I had uh, the shielded version of that, I would get uh, two intelligence. But that's not something I was able to get at this point. So as far as my mutations go, I have Egghead that gives me an extra six intelligence. But my Supule takes away one. So basically only have uh, gain five from that. And... Uh, so far, I don't have any other boost from food or anything, but we'll do that in a minute. With all that, if I look at my specials right now, as I stand as a uh, full health uh, build, uh, I have uh, 26 intelligence, a charisma, agility, and strength. All right, so the intelligence is going to boost my XP. Agility is going to allow me to stay stealthy. And the strength will allow me to uh, do some damage with my flamer. All right, that takes care of maxing out our intelligence with what we have. The other way to max out uh, XP gain is to do something very simple. And you should do that every day. And that's go to sleep. All right, when you see this little icon come up, you're uh, well rested. And if we look at our stats, effects, we get the Kindred Spirit effect, which gives us a plus 5% boost in XP for 2-3 to three hours, depending on which uh, ally you have in your camp. There are some food buffs you can take. And what I have, I've prepared a few. One of them is uh, going to be Cranberry Relish. If you take Cranberry Relish, you're going to have a bonus of uh, 20 XP because I am a herbivore. Otherwise, it would be 10. And that's going to last for an hour. And the other foods I take are going to be a gourd soup. And I'm also going to take some brain fungus soup. And some corn soup and the reason I'm doing those is because it does give me some additional things the corn soup is going to allow me to have an AP regen so if I use vats I can have that the cranberry relish of course gives me a bonus at 20 XP for an hour the gourd soup gives me perception 4 so that if I use vats I'll uh, be more accurate 
Okay, and the brain's fungus soups gives me another four intelligence. Now, I'm not using Brain Bomb, because that's the other option, which will give you more intelligence. And the reason I'm not using Brain Bomb is because one of the ingredients for Brain Bomb is very hard to get. So to craft Brain Bomb, you need Brain Fungus, which is fairly easy to get. Mothman Eggs, that's easy to get as well. Purified Water, of course, easy. But the hard part is getting the Sugar Bombs. The Sugar Bomb you want is the irradiated one, and those are very hard to get. And if you do get them, save those for a double XP weekend. And uh, just do the uh, brain fungus soup like I've done, because all you need is water and the brain fungus itself. So that's what I'm going to do. Cranberry relish is fairly straightforward to do. Boiled water, cranberries, gourds, sugar, and wood. Gourds you can cultivate in your camp. Sugar you can make from... Snaptail reeds and wood. So all things that are fairly easy to gather. All right, so here we are. We have our kindred spirit. We have our soup. We have our AP regen. We have a bone XSP from cranberry relish. And we have our mutations. Okay, and we're still full health. So let's go into West Tech and kill some Super Mutants. We're looking for level 100 Super Mutants, as those will give us the most XP. And West Tech has the highest concentration of high level Super Mutants. So that's where we're going to go. All right, the first part of the experiment is to see how much XP we get as a full health build. All right, let's go in. Let's see what level they are. They're not always 100. And that's a level 75. So we'll step out and wait for a few minutes. Two minutes should be good. And then they'll respawn and hopefully they'll respawn as level 100. All right, we're in. Let's go see if we have level 100 super mutants. And yes, we do. Okay, so you're experiment number one. And you're gonna give me 479 XP. Okay, let's try that again, just to confirm. Where are ya? Okay, he's only gonna give me 299 because he's not a high level. And you're also giving, you're giving me 479. Okay. One more. 479. Okay. So, now that I'm here, as I have my build, I can get 479 XP for each kill. So now let's go low health. And I can do that by taking some toxic goo. Until Nerd Rage kicks in. There we go. And if I look at my uh, armor, it now tells me that I have plus three to all my specials. And since I have one, two, three, four, Five unyielding armor pieces. That should give me another 15 to my special. So now, if I look at my special, I have an intelligence of 45. And everything else has gone up as well. Okay. So now, what do we get? Ah! 592. Okay. Again, 592.
So compared to the full health, that's about 23% increase in XP gain. So another piece of the puzzle that will greatly enhance your XP is, is to use a lunchbox. Now we're going to use four of them. So here we go. And here's the fourth one. And the reason we're using lunch boxes is because now we get a very well rested bonus, which gives us 100% to our XP. All right, so that's on top of what we have. And it lasts an hour. So now let's see what we get. All right, so now we're getting 1,100 points per kill. Which is pretty good. Alright, so 1184 per kill. Can we get more? Yes, but for my general gameplay, 1100 is quite good. You have to come out sooner or later. Yeah. But there we go. On double XP weekend, this would double to uh, 2200 points. And if I uh, boosted it further with uh, some of the other uh, recommended perks, which are more expensive, like the Brain Bomb and the Bubble Heads, Magazines, you can get a lot more points than that. All right. So there you go. XP farming on a budget. And I can do this for an hour until I need to reset everything. All right, that'll do it for today. I hope you enjoyed my little uh, escapade in the uh, XP farming on a budget. If you have any questions, post them down below. And until then, I say thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.